time to go get started on some garden cleanup. It's a nice day out here. So let's go check out the garden and see what all I can do. Oh, it's a little windy, so I might not be able to use the flamethrower, but let's check it out. Welcome back to the crazy messy garden. Today we need to start cleaning up. So let's get started. One thing I'm never gonna grow again is Cosmos. Look at their root system. They're taking up a lot of space in there. You live and learn. Okay, now to this messy bed. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this, but it needs to be cleaned. So that was where some of my tomatoes were. And then I did a back row of corn. It was just field corn from what we feed our animals and our deer sometimes. And um, I did that as a wind, as a wind break. However, I think it really made it too dark and crowded underneath the tomato plant. So I'm not gonna be growing corn in here again because as you see, that's what happens with corn. It's pretty cool, but look at how much dirt I'm losing. Pretty easy to bang out, but still, that's a pretty deep root. On to the next one. This is where I had some peppers. I had some tomatoes against the back. I tried some eggplant here. Remember when we were talking about marigolds and I said there's billions and billions? Look at them. This is all marigolds. The good thing is they're easy to get up. Those cosmos that I showed you earlier, they go so deep and spread and they get really thick roots. I'm not doing those again. Let's clean up this mess. So I'm out of breath, but I've cleaned that bed, that bed, that bed, this bed, this bed, this bed, that bed, that one, and this one. And then the small pots that had my cucumbers in it that went up over the trellis. And then I just started on this other side that had my cabbages and some peppers that never grew over here. So there's only like three beds left. There is this one, which is my tallest, well, one of my tallest, I've got two tall beds that did really good with tomatoes. And then back there, that bed I did with cucumbers and squash, and then that one was squash as well. So let me show you all the mess that I've made. I've been raking it outside and throwing it over the fence. That is a lot of stuff, you guys. Got it over here too. And then inside, this is the stuff I haven't raked. I, I raked the walkway. See how it's all Bermuda grass? Look at this. That is all marigold seeds. But I've got two more big piles right here. And on these beds, I put over the fence that way. So there is lots of carbon over here and okra and tomato plants. So let's work on this one right here. This one I might just burn because it's lots of grass. Same with that one. But I definitely need to use a flamethrower and go between the rows on the little pathways and get rid of all that Bermuda grass. So let's go over to the last tomato raised bed and get that cleaned up. Okay, here we go. All right, 
I think I'm at a stopping point, but I want to share some stuff with you that I just thought, oh, so I know I'm weird. Just take a look at this. Checking this out. And there's an onion that survived. There's one over here too. So I have found two onions and a carrot. Two onions and a carrot. And then, oh, there's another, onion. there's another carrot. Look, carrot, see how little it is? That's from last year, like a, almost a whole year ago. I didn't find anything special in this bed. This bed is so much Bermuda, I'm gonna have to just burn that all off. Nothing special in that bed. Nothing special in that bed. This bed had some kohlrabi that was still in the ground. I did pull some out, but we'll see what that does. Over here, not quite sure if that was kale, kohlrabi, or cabbage, but that's still growing. I found that underneath all the weeds. Over here, I found two carrots or more, I don't know, from last year. And then all the way over here, I found some, ta-da, Swiss chard. Isn't that pretty? I love Swiss chard. And then this, I think, ow, I just messed it up. That I think was a radish. Yep, it was, it was a radish. So maybe, just maybe, I'll just put that back and see what happens. Maybe that's a radish too. Oh, it is. I thought it was Swiss chard. Look at it, it's a radish. I love that. Another thing that I've never seen, and it's just obvious that it would happen is, where all that grass took over when I just like walked away from my raised bed garden, every little bit that I pull has tons of grass seeds underneath it, and they're so tiny. So I'm definitely gonna have to burn off this raised bed. Do you see them? I'll show you, watch. watch. See all of them? Watch. That is all seeds. It is nasty, nasty grass seed. I hate it. And plus, as you see, I can't get it all up just by pulling it. I can get majority of it, but it really is gonna need burned. Let's go get the flamethrower. So now we are gonna use the flamethrower. Watch out. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna show you how to use this. So this is our flamethrower. We haven't used it in quite some time. So what you do is it is attached to your propane tank. So what I do is I turn on the propane tank. I turn on this knob here tangled so let's untangle it I get out my fire stick starter so what I do because my arms are short and I'm by myself I do use my legs I hold it with my knees I turn the gas on a little bit at the handle and I have to use two hands to use the fire starter because I'm just not strong in my hands so as you can see, I've got a fire and I'm gonna use this right here. Let's see what happens.
You see how fast that works? This is amazing. Like, this is so amazing. I love this thing. I think that does it for today. I've cleaned up all the beds. I'm gonna go finish doing the flamethrower and then we'll come back for another video. I did clean out the barn so I can start some seed start. So we'll come back in a couple days with another video, but thank you for joining us. And thanks for enjoying my flamethrower as much as I do. Have a good night, bye-bye.